Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And what you're looking at is Rochester Region edition of the New York Communist Party propaganda wing. Democrat and Chronicle. Uh, they've been running a couple of stories, mostly in print edition, on these uh, Stingray cell phone trackers that are being used here. This is Master Surveillance. What they've done around Monroe County and no doubt many other places too, is they're putting up fake cell phone towers. Now what's the purpose of the fake cell phone towers? Well, duh, it's to spy on you. Of course, they're downplaying it and they're saying, nah, 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 we're just going after crooks. We're protecting your privacy, blah, blah, blah. And if you believe that, you're a real sucker. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Now, Rochester Police Chief, his name is Simonelli, I don't know his first name. And of course, he's claiming, oh, no, they're not keeping any cell phone records. Nope, 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 nope. Of course, he is a liar. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. He is a liar, 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 pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm going to see if I can find that story. Uh, do law enforcement agencies in Rochester ever use Stingrays, term for high-tech surveillance devices that can scoop up cell phone data surreptitiously? We asked that question more than a year ago. We didn't get a clear answer. Here's a partial answer, and it's yes. Information obtained by lawyers from the New York Civil Liberties Union indicates two agencies in our area have used controversial cell phone trackers three times in recent years. Three times? Uh, let me give you a little clue, folks. They're listening to you anytime you're on your phone. The bastards. And of course, they don't have enough personnel to listen to everybody, so you realize this is done by computers. And, of course, you know, anytime you're driving through a large metropolitan area, I'm sure this is mostly over the country, it's not just Rochester region. Anytime you're in a large metropolitan area, no doubt they're uh, invading your phone to see what's on it. Like I said, it's all done by computers. It's not humans doing this. So, well, the point is, if you have anything on your cell phone, your marvelous government knows about it. And DNC's been lying, uh, uh, well, the Seminole's been lying, the, uh, somebody said, oh, it's just limited, no cell phone records being taken. This has been mostly in the print edition. We'll see if we can find something else. But, um, they're listening in on you. And they're searching the contents of your phone surreptitiously. I don't care if you're the most purest person. They're listening in and they're violating your rights. The Rochester Police Department is violating people's rights. Let's you know, see if I can find some other sources. Hang on. Okay, uh, this guy has it right. Behind the headlines was Mark Hyman. Um, Stingray, that's a generic name of an electronic device that invades your privacy and collects data on you. I'm not talking about identity thieves. This is much worse. Stingray devices are being used with increasing frequency by law enforcement at federal, state, and local levels. Generally, law enforcement would get a search warrant so a phone company could be ordered to provide data on your cell phone, tablet device, or cellular 
broadband card you plug into a laptop. The judge would issue a search warrant when presented with probable cause that a crime has been committed. But some law enforcement are skipping the search warrant and they're using Stingray devices. These devices masquerade as a cell phone tower, causing cell phones, tablets, and laptops to ping the tower, giving away their locations. Then law enforcement proceeds with collecting more data. Not just Target, not on everyone, but on everyone including innocent bystanders in the vicinity. In violation of the Fourth Amendment. So this guy's got it right. You remember uh, this big hollow blue about. And they were, they were saying they're saying that. Well, you don't have to. We need Apple's permission to get into that terrorist cell phone out there in California that's a bunch of malarkey and right here's proof what they're doing is they're snooping in your business illegally and if you're okay with having government snoop in your business then leave your stuff on the phone but I suggest you get kitty port if you have anything illegal like kitty porn on it, I suggest you get it off it real fast. Oh, I'll uh, give you a little clue. Those scanning devices can't read uh, CDs and DVDs. Duh. Now, uh, what I would suggest people do, the idea should be to deprive these assholes of as much information as we can deprive them of. I don't care. Government's out of control. Might be a bit of a time coming, but I'm going to get everything off my phone, including the phone numbers. Here's what you have to do if you want your uh, privacy. If you don't care about your privacy, then screw you. All right. Here's what you have to do. I am number one. Like I said, remove all media from your phone. No pictures. No audio files. No nothing. Number two. There's a slow invention called the uh, three by five card. Write your phone numbers down on that. Put it in your wallet purse, whatever, carry that around with you. Clear your phone numbers off the phone. And finally, any calls or information you have on your phone, clear that off as well. Clear your call log, in other words. I think if you do those three things, you should be in pretty good shape. You see, I, uh, commute into Rochester and I resent the idea that every time I'm driving past these assholes you know I'm driving through Rochester some asshole in the Rochester Police Department is looking at the insides of my phone well that's what's happening I always wondered why uh, sometimes it seems to discharge faster than other times apparently this is one of the reasons they're snooping inside my phone we're not going to find anything terribly interesting. But, um, that's not the point. The point is, they're breaking the law. That's the issue here. If you're sitting there saying, well, I don't have anything to f fear, so I don't do anything wrong, so what do I care what they look at? That's not the point. That is irrelevant. To the subject. The only thing that's relevant is that they're breaking the law and they deserve to be punished. Rochester Police Chief, in my opinion, belongs in prison. It is in prison that he would receive the training, the education, 
the instruction, direction, and correction that he needs to be a respectable citizen of the country. That's the way I believe. They're breaking the law, they should go to prison. They're invading our privacy, they're violating the Fourth Amendment. Anybody involved with it? Life in prison, as far as I'm concerned. That's the way I see it. I'm not backing down. Well, there yeah, my rant. I hope the sound works out on this. I'm using a different system than what I've used before, so we'll see. So get stuff off your cell phone, if you care at all. Eventually I'm going to migrate my phone numbers to a 3x5 card and clear them out, clear the call log out, clear my memory chip out. I need a new MP3 player to been using it for an MP3 player, and that's what I've been using it for. Clear all the pictures out, so when they invade your cell phone, they're not going to find anything in there that they can use. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Oh, this country's gotten out of control. Communists.